Yeah, baby, I'm heading home right now. Oh, he should be here any minute now. Will you make it home today? Is that within your power? Hey, good morning, people. Oh, well, it's not a good morning. This is actually good evening, I should say, because it is, it is time to go home. I am getting off work, and it's time to go home. But you know, a common question that we, as motorcyclists, don't ask ourselves is will I make it home today? Isn't that a strange question to ask? Isn't it a strange question to even think about? I mean, will I make it home to see my loved ones? Is it within your control to make it home today? And I say yes. And you know, of course, not 100% because there is that small factor that is not within your control and that is that other driver road conditions possible hazards in the road and you guys all know Mr. Murphy right anything that can go wrong will go wrong you know that is everyday living and things happen but the stuff that is within your control. Do you ensure that it's in your control when you're riding? And it's an honest question. And I'm not coming at you like, you know, to say I'm Mr. Safety or I'm a granny rider, or not really granny rider, but a rider that has everything in control because there are those days where I am balls to the walls riding. And I will be the first to admit that. And the thing that brought, that brought this up to discussion is I was on Facebook reading some people's posts and the individual posted the question or didn't really post the question. He, uh, I guess his issue was he was driving down the freeway in the States and somebody was tailgating him and he said he flashed his lights he tried to wave the individual off, slow down, basically going tit for tat with the driver. And that's what I'm assuming. I don't know because I wasn't there. All I, all I did was just read the post. So I read the post and I'm thinking, hey, that's a good topic for a blog. So getting back to that, um, the individual says, you know, he's, you know, doing his thing, doing everything in his power to get the driver to back off. And, and I'm paraphrasing here. And so I was thinking, I'm, I'm like, okay, you did everything in your power to get the rider to back off. But did you do everything in your power to ensure that the rider can pass you? I mean, because if he's tailgating you, obviously he's in a hurry and you're not. So why not move to the extreme left of the lane or move to the extreme right of the lane and wave an individual by if you want to. All of this is within your power. This can ensure that you get home, you know? And then after that other people started chiming in well, I would have thrown ball bearings at the driver and damaged his windshield um, some people alluding to making other things happen I don't know the law but I can't help but think though 
there's another action that happens as a result of your action, are you not at fault? And will that prevent you from getting home, i.e. jail time? The worst of all, possibly killing yourself or, or killing someone else? Is it worth it? Will you make it home today? Is that within your power? Is that within your control? And I, look, I know writing is supposed to be that, that Zen happiness as GB Wingin and put it. When you're in that Zen moment and somebody comes up and tailgates you, the Zenness of that is to allow that individual to pass, right? Why spend time going tit for tat with an automobile when at any given time you can be on the losing end? It makes no sense to me. Why even bother with that? Why not just get out, of, get yourself out of harm's way and carry on so you can make it home? That is the objective. And if you don't know that, I'll repeat it, you know, or I'll give you my objective. My objective for every ride is to leave home and return home safely to my loved ones. That is my objective for every ride. So I don't want to spend time with some fool on the road arguing. Because I have had, you know, I've been there. I've been that individual who, who has been, you know, carried to the hospital in the ambulance. I'm, I'm that individual who has flatlined. I am that individual who once did not make it home. And this is nothing that, this doesn't go through your mind when you're actually riding. It, it, you know, you're riding, you're having fun and you know, something happens and you never think about the other side, you know, but when you wake up in the hospital trying to find out where, where in the hell am I? Whew. And that's just what you're going through. What about your family? You know, let's, let's bring that home. What about your wife? How about your mom, your dad, your kids, your significant loved one, you know? Do you realize what they're going through when they're wondering where you are? How come you're not home? Are you gonna make it home? It's five o'clock and here it is seven o'clock and I, and I haven't heard from him or her. What's going on? Oh my God, you know, all these things are real. All these things are real. So again, I ask you, will you make it home? Is making it home within your control? is making it home within your power, you know? All right, people, if I don't have anything else to say, that's, uh, that is gonna be this vlog for today. While I uh, get back to working on the other video, I'm always working on some video. But as always, this is Tony Reno, over 50, still on two, and loving it. Oh yeah, loving it indeed. And check this, I know I said I was going to get back home to uh, you know, continue with another video, but uh, you know the real reason I'm trying to get home? You know what drives me home? You know what keeps me focused? This. What are you calling, Becca? Who loves you, baby? <laughs> you do.